So why would the abbot of St. Mary's have needed to call in loans from debtors like the poor knight? Massimo has gone to York to meet the archaeologist in charge of St. Mary's Abbey. I'm curious about the story of uh, Robin Hood and the poor knight. Could there be some real-life reference to that? Well, it's more than possible, and we don't know an exact case, but the lifeblood of any monastery was the land it owned, whether that's for grazing sheep or iron ore extraction, or just purely from rents. We know that in 1319, for instance, uh, the abbey here was £4,000 in debt. Now, its value at the dissolution, when the whole thing was destroyed in 1540, was only £2,400. So that's an enormous amount of debt. I mean, the church we're walking through yeah. was built in one go in 20, 30 years. Now, to pay for that, to pay the bills of the masons and everything else in the late 1290s, takes an awful lot of cash. So if somebody came along and said, for £400, I'll offer you my lands, I'm sure the abbot would have jumped to the chance. Andrew confirms that Benedictine monasteries like St. Mary's were loathed for their wealth and worldliness. Does Robin Hood hatred for the monastery reflect a widespread feeling among the population? Very much so. St. Mary's Abbey being one of the most powerful in the country, and particularly in the north of England, and particularly in a city like this, when you have the Archbishop of York just literally a stone's throw from the abbey. The city wall up there the abbey wall, the precinct wall of, the, of St Mary's, just along here, in between it, a ditch, pure no man's land. It got even to the state of actual fighting between the, the, the citizens of York and the monks. And we know that the abbot had to leave the monastery for a whole year because he was so scared for his own safety. The monks' food was stopped from coming in. Uh, to get to that level of actually a fistic of hand-to-hand -hand fighting uh, must have been pretty desperate. So Robin was not alone in his hatred for organised religion? No, I think in the case of York, it was join the queue.